I was thinking the other day, as oh, I do, oh, oh, dangerous. when I'm sitting down being pensive, not penis, pensive. Um, Fortnite and Smash Brothers have had... <laughs> I just need a line down here. Uh, <laughs> Fortnite and Smash Brothers have had a huge success in the mixing of genres. Do you think someone else should do it? Oh, well, funny you should lead with that question, <laughs> Floppy. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking, what if Mario Kart went that route <laughs> of the Smash Brothers roster and got different characters, not just from the Mario universe or the Nintendo universe, but from all universes? Who would we want to see in Mario Kart 9? And ladies and gentlemen, we are here to tell you who we think will be in Mario Kart 9 on the Switch. And we guarantee every one of these is happening. Hab- absolutely. Absolutely. Hab- hab- anyway, Floppy. Who's yes. your first pick? Okay, so who my, is going to be in Mario Kart 9? My first pick um, is a little guy. And by little, I mean huge. A guy named Kratos. Oh, yeah. I actually I, had Kratos as a pick. I want to see Kratos in a cart. Yep. Uh, I want to see him like... You know how you can get your boomerang power up and throw it? Yep. Leviathan axe. Yep, yep. Uh, you know how you can get your piranha plant power up and he chomps everyone that's near you? Mm-hmm. Chains of Olympus. Excellent. I want to see that. I think that would be amazing. And what happens when he loses? Well, he never loses. Oh, really? Yeah. He just never automatic seen, win. Automatic win. Have you never seen the blue shells can't touch him? Nothing. Have you ever seen a God of War game? But if he comes second to Luigi, he does snap his neck. He, yeah. Or he just, Fantastic. boy. That is the <laughs> only time I'd ever play as Luigi so I could win against Kratos. Uh, Brayden. Who would you like to see in Mario Kart 9? All right, so my pick is, uh, I think, an interesting one because I think the mechanics of it would apply quite nicely. Yeah. Um, it's a little friend of ours. Everyone knows him. Everyone loves him. It's Tony Hawk. Yeah, this would be great. Because <laughs> it would just, along? You would just play Tony Hawk Pro Skater in the middle of Mario Kart. Would you be able to... So, would you your jump button? Obviously, you'd be ollieing and doing kickflips. Yeah, flips. you would just be ollieing. You could get kickflips to work... like. Like instead of like a um, any of the boosts or anything, he would do a kickflip and then just go way faster. <laughs> like it'd be great stuff. It'd be so good. Anytime you go up a ramp or anything, he does a big Superman. Oh, I do see the problem with this though because um, canonically, I think Mario is only like four foot five or something. Yeah, uh, Tony Hawk's a big big man. He's like He's six foot three. Surprisingly tall. Yeah, so he would be a, a giant, a giant. Person. I'm just going to show you, throw it out there. Kratos, pretty tall too. That's true. Yeah, everyone. Hey, no, but you you see Link in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and he's got his knees up by his head. Like everyone would look like that. It'd be how great. good would Kratos be in a tiny little cart? Oh my god, it'd be great. Uh, for my first pick, I've decided to go with someone that Fortnite beat me to it before I wrote this list. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to see Ryu in uh, Mario Kart 9, but he would only be on a little push bike <laughs> because Ryu doesn't like cars. Why not? Because he beats them up all the oh, time. I think we've I've got seen. some footage. Here he is. Just doesn't like cars. Man. Damn, he's really getting into that windscreen. Yeah. So we can see here live footage of Ryu beating up a car. Is that you? No. Are you sure? No, I've got technique. Ooh. Ooh. Burn. That's dangerous <laughs> as hell. He could have sliced his femur artery open. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, Floppy, who yep. else would you like to see? All uh, right, so my next pick is... Make uh, me very angry. <laughs> it can make you angry. That's just your normal state of being, I think. Uh, pretty angry. Uh, Only so when I, jerks dance around my collection and make it fall from the cupboards. Pff, what, who, what jerk would do that? I don't know, one that almost had a broken jaw. He would have had to catch me, mate. I can run like the wind when I'm scared. I was pretty scared. <laughs> he was scared. <laughs> uh, so my next pick is, and I went for another PlayStation uh, uh, exclusive character, which I didn't actually really mean to do. It just worked out that way. Uh, I want to see Peter Parker in there. Cool. I want to see Peter Parker, but uh, driving his little June buggy. No. From the June no. buggy. As you can see on the you screen. You call the June it bu- what it is. The Spider-Mobile. The Spider-Mobile, you philistine. The spider buggy. Uh, yeah. It's quality. How, cool, how fitting is that? It's amazing. And he would have web things. It appeared in two on. issues. And Into the Spider-Verse. And Into the Spider-Verse. And I'm pretty sure the 60s or 70s cartoon or 80s cartoon or one of the cartoons it was in. It's so good. It's often harkened back to uh, as a joke. 
Yeah, as it the, should be in why Mario do they Kart. Keep releasing toys of it though, because it's so horrible. Do you because know what I wish? Toys of it everywhere. They don't release enough toys of is Lepidon. Lepidon. Give yeah. me more Lepidon, goddamn! I think Lepidon's in Spider Verse Two, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, is he in the background somewhere? Don't know. Well, there's a picture of him, definitely. Yeah. But I think into the Spider Verse Two, the um the animated one, they've confirmed Japanese Spider Man's going to be yes, with Lepidon. Yes, they have. They have confirmed that. You should watch that. Yeah. Oh, that's. All right, just a little bit of uh, history. I have a leopard on over there, Braden. You should Google Spider Man June Buggy. Um, I'm going to hurt you so bad. Uh, leopard on, uh, that whole thing is how the Power Rangers started because uh, they lost the license to Marvel and went, well, we still want to have giant robots battling giant monsters. Let's make our own. And that's where uh, Power Rangers and Super Sentai came from. Yeah, cool. right. That's really cool. Uh, I'd like to shout out to Dylan the villain. He wants to see Ratchet and Clank in Mario Kart. Oh my god, right. that'd be awesome. They they could they could be on their weird little like hover bike thing. It'd be great. <laughs> Game Boy Dad says Kratos in a boat just rowing furiously. <laughs> <laughs> but not going anywhere, and you keep <gasps> passing him, and he's just going, <sighs> No, he's like <sighs> rowing through oh, the he's concrete. Rowing that way? He's just rowing through the concrete. <laughs> oh, that would be cool. Um <laughs> speaking of cool, Braden, who else do you want to see in Mario Kart 9? Uh, so my other pick, I went nice and safe with a good old Nintendo property, um, you know, because that's actually something that they could perceivably do. If they um, cared about it. If they cared about this property in the slightest. Is Samus in Mario Kart? Mm, no. No. None of, none of them. No, because they don't care about Samus. Star Fox. Oh, yeah. He what? literally flies around and stuff. Like Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah. Man, that game was rad. And what did you call it in our run sheet? Sorry, Brayden. Um, what did I call it? I said he would look adorable in... In, in like a tiny version of it, but he's like popping I out think, the top. I think you call it the spaceship. Yeah, it's a spaceship. It's called the R wing, you philistine. Never played. I've got an R wing in there as well, just down there. Yeah, I know you pick me up on the June bug. You don't pick him up on this little spaceship. Well, it, it's because it no takes, one cares about Star Fox. Say it because it's, it's a property that Ben cares about. That's when he does it. Yeah, exactly. Bet, I bet some of our listeners. Oh, that's do. right. There, yeah, there's a me costume for Samus. <laughs> uh, my next pick is a Pokemon. Do I don't mean, care which one. Ah, uh, Charizard ripping around the track in his little cart. Snorlax, you know, just not giving a crap, and <laughs> crashing into people. Mewtwo getting frustrated and just nuking everyone. <sighs> Sign me up. Floppy. All right, my last pick. Uh, I really like this one. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I like this one too. Um, I want to see Agent 47 from the Hitman series. <laughs> but every time, you know how you bump into people and you do the little spin? Mm -hmm. Every time you do that, you, order, you change into a costume of that person, but with the bald head and the barcode on the back of your neck. The, the changing into the costume, I love. Like, him disguising as anyone who he <laughs> hits. Yeah. And his character model is just constantly changing colours. Yeah, I think that... But with the bald head in the back. Yeah. I think he's, oh, he's great. I don't if like all this laughing around people talking about bald heads. Uh, we'll get a barcode, mate. We'll be scared of you. I'm um, not in 1998. Thank you, <laughs> Floppy. Uh, Brayden, who's your last pick? My last pick is the entire cast... Of Sonic Sega All Stars Racing. <laughs> Why? They just lose, like the losers that they are. Ooh. So, but just, it's all Sega characters. And this is the start. You had that game, it failed miserably. Uh, it, it was surprisingly a good game, though. Um, mm, clearly not. How many sequels? Not nine. It got two. Wow, two. Yeah, anyway, um, but yeah, the entirety of the Sega cast, all in Mario Kart, to announce that Nintendo have bought Sega. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. I like uh, Triple Indy in the chat. Hazuki from Shenmue, but on his forklift. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Triple Indy as from well. Work. A Voltorb would oh. be good for Pokemon. Or just a ball. Yeah, he just rolls. All right, my last pick. Uh, this, okay. If um, anyone didn't see this coming, I don't know if you've been watching the show. Banana Man? Way to kill the lead. Oh, okay. Sorry. So we've seen this person riding uh, implements before. Uh, hey, I don't know how that video got on the internet. Recently, we saw him don the legendary bike from Akira. Definitely don't know how that. Ladies is. and gentlemen, say it with me. The one, the only. Floppy. Uh, Not this lady who's on screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> but the, video the game person me. she's about to jump on the bike with. That's right, Kojima! Kojima in Mario Kart! And he just wins all the time because he's fucking awesome! Kojima. Look how awkwardly she's posing while Kojima's just taking his sweet ass <laughs> time. I really, I really feel for like the cosplay like 
cosplay people who get hired by the companies to play the character because they just are stuck posing constantly. Yep. And Kojima just doesn't care. She's he's trying just, to direct him to tell him how like, to take a good photo. Look and at this cool stuff. And he's like, don't talk to me. I'm Hideo Kojima. Bless yeah. you. Can't even actually hear her. Kojima on an awkward death stranding buggy. Yes. <laughs> But carrying heaps of packages but then and he halfway throws through, at you. He runs out of fuel, so he has to get out and start running. But no. then he slides and he slides down the hill and actually goes across the line not the, and wins. The, not the buggy. When you just get on one of those hovering little platforms that follow behind you and you skate it down, <laughs> yeah. he does that. And you don't throw a shell, you throw a package. <laughs> <laughs> and it's only no. because you fell over and you just let it go. And then yeah. in order to go fast, you eat the BB. That's gross. No, the, the BB is obviously the banana. That's right. <laughs> you slip People on slip it. on it. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. <laughs> no, it's a, a B bomb. B B bomb. B B. Oh, okay, you got yeah. that in the end. 